Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I'm a photographer based in North Wales. Digital cameras are amazing, let's be honest. But generally speaking, the higher the quality you go for, the more expensive and the heavier your equipment will get. And that's partly why today we're going to be looking at these Gobi lens adapters. So these are a couple of modern lenses. This is a 85mm prime lens from Sony. This is the 24 to 75 Tamron zoom lens. And this is a 70 to 200 f4 telephoto lens, again from Sony. They're quite big, really, aren't they? Which is one reason you may choose to use an adapter on some old vintage lenses. If you've been on the channel for a while, you will know that I also like shooting film, 35mm film, and my main camera body is a Pentax MX. This right here is probably my favourite lens. This is my Pentax M SMC 50mm f1.7 and it is just such a gorgeous little lens and it only cost me £40 in pristine condition. So these Gobi lens adapters, they are as simple as you can get. They cost around £20 on Amazon, come in just a little box like this, inside which you get a little pouch with the adapter itself as well as this tiny little thank you card which also notifies you to register your trees because for every order of their product more trees are planted which is never a bad thing these adapters are so simple to use it's unreal so using these adapters i've got one here for pentax k lenses which attaches to a sony e-mount body and away you go, you're ready to shoot. Obviously, this is the Sony A7 Mark III. It's only a year and a half, two year old camera. And this lens is probably at least 40 years old, if not older. But using a very simple bit of tubing with a different mount on each end, you can attach pretty much any lens that you like to any camera mounts that you like. These over two here were for my Lumix G9. They're a Micro Four Thirds camera mount. This one is for the K mount, again, for the Pentax lenses. And I also have one for the M42 lenses, such as the classic Zenit Helios 58mm F2. Obviously, I no longer have any Micro Four Third cameras, but I loved using these adapters on there. I even used the Pentax 50mm on a wedding video that I did, which I'll link to up here which I really enjoyed because I could do some really smooth focus racking on a Micro Four Thirds camera. Normally, you're using focus by wire, which means that depending on how quickly you move the focus ring, it will focus faster or slower. But using an old vintage lens like this, you can still see your focus markers and you know exactly where your focus point is. I made great use of this Sony adapter when I first got the Sony camera because when I bought the body I also bought the 85mm but that was it that was the only autofocus lens that I had but I thought for the sake of £20 I'd order another adapter and that tied me over until I could afford another lens so as well as the 85mm I also had the 50mm to play with as well as 28mm. Now don't worry too much if you are not used to manually focusing. Pretty much any modern camera will have a feature called focus peaking. That means it will highlight in red what within your frame is in focus. So I can probably take a shot right now of the camera setup and using the focus peaking I can tell what's in focus, take my shot and that is bang on. In terms of build quality there is nothing Bad to say about these really. From what I can tell it's a fully aluminium construction. Both the front and the rear mounts are metallic, no plastic involved. Got a very simple push button to release the lens and none of these have ever felt at all loose. Some might say they feel a little bit tight even but you'd much rather it be tight than loose. I'm not going to knock them at all for not being weather sealed because chances are the lenses that you're using will not be weather sealed. <laughs> like I say, they also come with a little drawstring pouch, which is definitely handy to keep them separated in your bag. Although now when I'm shooting with it, I'll just disconnect the lens and adapter together from the camera and just keep them together because I'm not going to be switching between camera mounts. 
The only con that I can think of with these Gobi adapters is that you might notice a little bit of dust or just little bits inside the adapter when you take them out of the bag. I think that's just from the bag after a while. It's all going to disappear. As long as you've got a lens blower with you, then you should be absolutely fine. But for the sake of £20, honestly, you can't go wrong with these. They're a great option to bring a new lease of life to your old vintage lenses. If you work in video, then it's much nicer to be able to focus rack manually rather than relying on the autofocus to do it for you. And again, these lenses are a lot cheaper than any modern equivalents. As I say, this Pentax 50mm cost me about £40 online. This Zenit Helios lens cost me about £35 online. This is a Chinon 28mm f2.8 lens. And this is a Cosina 28mm f2.8 lens. Each of these 28mm cost me £5 for a prime f2.8 28mm lens. So if you're strapped for cash, you've just switched to a new system like I did, then this is definitely a good option to just start using your camera and get acquainted with the camera body. If you look in the right places, you can find some really great lenses, very cheap. And with the Gobi adapters, you can find pretty much any lens to body combination that you could possibly want. So that is everything for this video. It's a very quick look at the Gobi lens adapters. Honestly, I'm dead sure with them. I'll be selling the Micro Four Third ones on at some point and I can definitely see myself picking up another adapter for the Sony camera. I'll leave Amazon UK affiliate links for all these adapters in the show description down below. And if you've used any of these adapters, then let me know your thoughts on them as well. I'd love to hear. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it or took something away from it. Until the next one, be good, get out there shooting and I'll see you in the next video.